preparing an exhibit called Soulful Work for the Roach Jones Duff House and Garden Museum, which will open the end of June, June 26th, and will actually have visitation beginning early in July. Um, what I'm doing right now is steaming um, this linen jacket, which has been in storage, so it's kind of wrinkled. It's um, hand embroidered, and it has a lot of cut work which means it's got a lot of holes <laughs> that have been um, finished with hand stitching around the edges. And it has a scalloped collar, which again has some more of the hand, uh, hand work. And the buttons are really fun. They're very big, fat, round buttons that I think were probably crocheted. So. I'm also going to steam this skirt, but that's kind of boring to watch. <laughs> Let's go around here. And this is a gorgeous dress, which is from the early, early um, 1900s, early 20th century dress, which again is hand embroidered. Um, it also has been in storage, so I'm going to steam this, but I think we should move around and I should look at, we should look at some other things. Because <laughs> steaming is not exciting to look at. I'm going to unplug. So there's some fun things that we've gotten. This is from um, a local woman who also did some cut work. She made a tray um, and she's embroidered around all the edges of what she cut out. And then she embroidered in the and some flowers and some um, leaves and other kinds of natural patterns. So people actually do hand work just for practical things like a tray. Um, this is a little quilt I just love. It's called a strip quilt. And this has been hand stitched. If you come real close, you can see there are lots and lots of very tiny stitches. And then on the front, Annette Cook, who's the one woman who made it, has hand embroidered these wonderful flowers onto it. Um, and, you know, it's just absolutely charming. Then we have some other things in the cases here. We have a dolly who's wearing a cap that is totally tatted. Tatting is another kind of um, needlework. And this um, painting in the wall here is also tatting. It's kind of a form of um, knotting. Very complicated. Here's another piece. And yet, some people do it very efficiently. I tried it. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't, wasn't my thing. <laughs> so, and then we have another quilt from Annette. This is all appliqued. It's all hand stitched, put together by hand. And then she appliqued circles, and she made some pillows that she appliqued as well as embroidered. And we have Louise Travers, a wonderful volunteer. She did embroidery, and she embroidered sneakers, um, vans sneakers and they were evidently made with a pattern that she got years ago and she embroidered the four sides in flat embroidery and then um, the flat embroidery that she had was sent to um, the Vans factory and they made them into sneakers. So let's go into the other room. On our way, we have some very big quilts. Um, all of this is handwork. A big, wonderful basket pattern quilt that's all hand stitched. Um, that's by Christine Dole. And I'm going to show you the back because the back is wonderful too. Really, you know, it shows all that work which comes through. It's harder to see it. Um, when you just look at the front, but fabulous. 
And then in the center here, we have a very, very old um, Chinese silk embroidered piece that I've been told belonged to Sarah Roach Arnold, who was the daughter of William Roach Jr. who built this house. So this is from early in the 19th century. And here, um, we have samplers, and we have a case that's the theme is black. <laughs> um, one of another one of our volunteers, wonderful volunteers, sort of inspired the show, Melinda. And she did all these squares with um, a variety of embroidery stitches. I would have to, I have a whole long list that describes just one square, but each square has different kinds of work in it, and they're really quite fabulous. She's going to put them together eventually and, and make a big quilt. Um, and then we have some very charming and very um, deep and intentionally embroidered things by Elaine McBride. These are really quite charming too. But the work in this is amazing. This is all hand work, so it's, you know, not done, not done quickly. Done with a lot of love and affection. Down at the bottom is something called wheat work which I don't know very much about. It's done in the Azores, I believe, and the wheat is pounded, and it looks like it's gold, but in fact, it's just the sheaths of wheat. There's a bunch of um, samplers, some of which are from um, the 19th century, and some are from the 20th century. And the quilt over the mantelpiece is called a friendship quilt. It has squares that were um, made, each one was made by a different person. And that person signed the square in the middle. And so we have some that date as early as 1832, some from early in the 1900s, uh, a couple that are from 1850. And then they were put together. I'm not sure who actually put them all together. But it's very nice. This is tambour work here. The white blouse. Um, from early in the 19th century, maybe around the 19th, the, the 1830s. And this is really kind of intricate work that's stitched from the inside, and the threads, threads are pulled through. Um, it's very, very, you know, hard to do. It has to go through the fabric in order to create the stitch on the top side. And the red vest, I'm not sure whether it's tambour work or not. I have to do a little more research. We have some fabulous, um, again, textile paintings by let me turn the light on for this, Jess. Excuse me. <laughs> this is Idea Shearer, who, um, this is actually machine stitching, which is prob probably the only thing in the exhibit that is machine stitch. But the intricacy and sensitivity in her work um, amazes me because she uses stitching and she uses different um, patterns of fabric to create the shadows and the different um, parts of the faces. And she's um, made it her kind of life work to illustrate different older people. Um, she uses a lot of purple and I believe there's a, one of her early books was something about wearing purple. I don't know when you're older, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> and so, and then we have more 
wonderful samplers. He's with Natalie Nello and her grandmother or her mother, I'm not sure which. To do my labels. This is a um, a sampler that the lower one is done by Emma Jones, who was Amelia Jones' older sister. It was done in like 1917. And then the up one is a copy of it done by Judy Lund, who is around right now <laughs> and has donated, uh, lent us a bunch of things. Probably it. So when is it again opening? It's going to open officially June 26th and then people are actually going to be able to come to the museum I believe July 9th or thereabouts. So please make an appointment. We'd love to have you come. Bring your mask. Wear your mask. Um, bring your friends. Come in small groups but come. <laughs> awesome. Thank you Blair.